How did the Roswell real estate market do in 2019? How does it compare to the sales and activity in 2018? What's the look ahead for 2020? How about the differences between the east side of Roswell and the west side of Roswell? I've got all the market stats, all the market information right here. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Happy New Year. Bob Clarkson, Century 21 here in Roswell. And as we start 2020, wanted to take just a couple of minutes and look back and see what the real estate market was like last year and compared to 2018. So let's jump right into it. So I broke this up. We've got several different sections. Um, so we broke it up first into West Roswell. So I used Highway 400 as the divider. So we've got West Roswell and East Roswell. We'll get to East Roswell next. And then I've also broken it up into separate categories over here. So we've got single family, detached, and then we've got townhomes and condos. So we've got sections for each. So first for single family, detached, um, 2019, the total number of sales last year was 991 sales. Compared to 2018, there were 946 sales. So not a big difference. For townhome and condos this year, 2019, there were 339 sales. And then in 2018, there were a total of 348 sales. So not a huge difference in the total number of sales, but here's where it changes just a little bit. The average sales price. So the average sales price for 2019 was 487,000. In 2018, the average sales price was 468,000. So a jump of almost $20,000 in one year. That's a big jump. For townhome and condos, the prices are pretty much the same uh, from 2019 and 2018. So we've got 342 for 2019, 340,000 for 2018. Um, so if we look over at the median sales price, it changes just a little bit. So the median sale price for 2019, 431,000 compared to 2018, we've got 425,000. And then the condos and the townhomes, the median sale price this year was 315,000. Median sale price in 2018 was 333,000. So a little bit of a play in numbers there. Actually, one of the big reasons that the values change so much is the new construction on Goulding um, really drove the prices up a lot. Um, and a lot of them closed in 2018 and not many in 2019. Um, jump over to the average days on market. This is always a, a pretty important statistic that I like to follow. The average days on market for 2019 single family houses was 44 days. The average days on market for townhomes was 57 days. Compared to 2018, the average days on market was 39 days. So not a huge difference, five days, that's not, that's not a big jump. Um, 2018 townhomes and condos, average days on market 48 days compared to 57 days in 2019. Median days on market, pretty much the same across the board. Um, then we jump over, so this is a, a important statistic as far as what your list price is compared to what your final sale price ends up being. So it's pretty, again, pretty stagnant across the board. 98% almost all the way down. So if you list your property for X amount, just take 98% of that and the law of averages says that that will be your final sale price. So this is West Side of Roswell. Hopefully not too much information, but enough information to help you. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Glad to help. We'll jump into East Roswell here next. Jumping over to the east side of Roswell, uh, there is there are some differences. Okay, so first off, the east side of Roswell just doesn't have as many homes uh, compared to the west side of Roswell. So keep that in mind. Uh, jump into 2019, the total number of single family sales 382 compared to 2018 was 350 total sales. So good jump up. Um, Townhomes and condos total of 60 sales in 2018. 70 sales in 2019, so just a little bump up. The average sales price, uh, 2019 detached single family houses, the average sales price was 422,000. Compared to 2018, the average sales price, 409,000. So still a pretty good jump up uh, just over one year. Townhomes and condos, really good jump up from 2018 from 267 all the way up to 289, so that's a good jump. Like to see that. 
Median sales price, uh, pretty pretty similar across the board, 385 compared to 383, and then 232 compared to 225. Um, the days on market is actually re really good for the east side of Roswell. The average days on market is 37 days compared to 2018, 32 days on market. Um, townhomes and condos went down 29 days on market compared to 34 days on market. The median days on market, pretty similar across the board. Um, this is what jumped out to me for the east side. The average and median list price to sale price. So again, what you list your home for and what the final sales price ends up being. Um, we're all at 98 and then uh, 2019 townhomes and condos were at 99%. So if you list your home for X amount, take the 98, 99% and that should end up being your final sales price assuming their agent does the job. Uh, but here's the quick overview for that. Next, we're gonna jump into 2020 market stats. So how many number of listings are available? How many are under contract? So stay tuned. So where does the Roswell real estate market stand today as we start off the new year? If we look at West Roswell, the total number of active available listings that are single family detached, we've got 220 active available listings. Uh, if you dive into that and break it down a little bit further, this is what I find interesting. Over, there's 118 of those 220 that are properties that are listed more than $500,000. Properties that are between our average sales price, between 400 to 500,000, there's only 44 available listings. If you go under 400,000 out of these 220, there's only 62 available listings. So if you break it down, there's a lot of properties that are for sale over 500,000. There are not a lot of properties for sale under 500,000. If we look at the townhome and condo uh, on the west side of Roswell, there's a total of 69 active listings. And then if we look at the under contracts, so single family, we've got 78 properties. That's not including the 220. 78 that are under contract, townhome, condo. Uh, there's 32 that are under contract. Jump over to the east side of Roswell. Single family detachers, a total of 74 active listings. So still a low number. Um, 27 of the single family properties are under contract. Again, that does not include the 74 that are on the market. Um, townhome condo, there's a total of 28 active available listings, and then there's 17 that are under contract. So what does all this mean? Uh, there's still a very low amount of inventory for home buyers to look at. So if you're a seller, you're in a good position. If you're a buyer, it's difficult to find good properties that are for sale. Of course, we are the beginning of January, so more properties will start coming on the market. But if you're thinking about maybe selling or if you want to get maybe a second opinion on your home's value or how long it'll take to sell, reach out to your real estate agent. You can reach out to me. Certainly glad to help and uh, answer any questions that you might have. Otherwise, hope this has been of help. Um, happy New Year again. Hope 2020 is a great year for you. Be putting out some more videos uh, as the years to come. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.